What's up everybody? Today we're going to talk about snatch blocks. Now you've seen a lot of campaigns about our regular snatch blocks, our gold rings, all kinds of snatch block information has been coming across the airwaves. Well I've gotten a lot of questions recently about which one I prefer and how to set them up and things like that. So today we're going to run out to the desert, we're going to hook both up, we're going to show you how long it takes and show you how both of them work. So come along with us, let's head out to the desert. We made it out to the desert. We've got our trusty winch demo tree here, and trees are kind of hard to find out here, so we use this a lot. You've probably seen it in other videos. And for supplies, I've got a three by eight tree saver, got the Gear America gold ring, soft shackle, gloves, of course, and the Gear America ultra snatch block. Now, also, we've got the open road winch on the Jeep, which is right over there. So we're gonna run some winch line out. We're gonna do both of these setups and show you how they work. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our three by eight tree saver and we're gonna put it around the trunk of the tree. Now, typically you want this as low as possible and around the full trunk of the tree, but for demonstration purposes, we're gonna put it around this part right here. Now, since the tree saver is gonna be a common product used with both styles of winching, we've got this set up and we'll show you how it works with each one. Now, we are using the Ultra Snatch Block and the Gold Ring, and both of those hook up with soft shackles. They're all aluminum, and they're designed only to be used with synthetic winch line, which is what we have on the open road winch. So first, I'm gonna demonstrate how you hook up a typical snatch block. We're using the Ultra Snatch, but this works with any snatch block, like the standard two plate nine ton, the Mega Snatch Block, which is the big 25 ton heavy duty one. But this is the Ultra Snatch, a 20 ton snatch block, and we're gonna use it with synthetic line. All right, so here we've got our winch line from the Jeep, our snatch block, and a soft shackle. To hook up the snatch block, we're gonna run the soft shackle through both sides of the tree saver so it's ready. The line from the winch is gonna go around the snatch block pulley, close the two plates, then hook it up to the tree saver. And there's your general hookup for a typical snatch block. So we take the winch line, we run it back to the Jeep. We hook it back up to the bumper and we're ready for our pull. And that is how you hook up a typical snatch block with the two plates. Now this gives you a mechanical advantage when you're winching by going out to the snatch block and back to the Jeep. When it connects back to itself, it cuts the line speed in half, effectively doubles the power of your pull. Now, like I've said in previous videos, it doesn't double the power of your winch. My 13,000 pound winch will always be a 13,000 pound winch, but it does give you that mechanical advantage to help you get unstuck from those really sticky situations. Next up, I'll show you how easy it is to hook up the gold ring. All right, we'll get this one unhooked and we'll hook up the gold ring. Do the same thing, just in reverse order. Disconnect it from the tree saver, Take off the snatch block, release the plates, and you're free. Now, with the gold ring, it's a little bit easier. You can take the ring, go ahead and attach it to the tree saver first. That way you're not fumbling around with plates or anything like that. Now the gold ring is already hooked up, but you have enough space to go ahead and put the winch hook right through it. We'll take our winch hook, even with the soft shackle on it, feed it through, and you're ready for winching. So we'll run this back to the Jeep. We'll hook it back up, grab the remote, and we're winching.
And that's how you hook up the gold ring snatch ring. It's a little bit easier to hook up because you can run the winch hook right through the soft shackle here. Now, if you noticed when I ran the Jeep in, the line stayed perfectly fine on the ring. I've heard a lot of people say, well, can't that line slip off the ring? Well, yes, it can. That's why we want to pay attention, go slow, and do things very meticulously when we're doing winching. Remember, any vehicle recovery is using heavy-duty equipment under extreme load, so be very careful, wear gloves, and be safe at all times. And once you've performed your recovery, take down all your equipment again, stow it nicely, clean it when you get home if necessary so it lasts you a lifetime. Now, I'm going to put links down below to all this equipment and where you can get a hold of it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, definitely leave them below. And do me a favor. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, ring that bell. That way you will be the first one notified every time Gear America comes out with a new product, goes on a cool run, has a neat explanation, or anything like that. So for Gear America, nestled in the desert just outside Phoenix, Arizona, this is Chris signing off. And as always, off-road smart and tread lightly.